Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel here at Scrapping for Less. I will be sharing a card today as a sneak peek of the upcoming Flavor of the Month card kit. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. It is less than a week now until the November 2020 Flavor of the Month card kit from Scrapping for Less will make its debut. This is unfortunately the last kit. If you haven't seen Teresa's announcement, I will link that video in the description box below. But let me tell you, she is going out with a bang and I know that you'll want to get your hands on this kit. Make sure to keep stopping by over the next week for more sneak peeks here on the channel. And then next Friday night, I hope you'll join us for the release hop. For my card today, I'm going to be using the stamp set, some of the pattern papers, and the enamel dots from one of the collections that will be coming in the new kit. This is going to be a quick and easy card, but I think it might be a layout that you'll like to keep using. Let's get crafty! To get started on today's card, I'm going to be doing the cutting. The piece of floral paper got cut to 2 and 3 quarters inches tall by 4 inches wide. Then I cut down the blue paper to fill the card front at four and a quarter inches tall by five and a half inches wide. And finally for the pattern paper, I cut a piece from the polka dots that was a two inch square. Later I will end up cutting this down just a little bit. Next I brought in a piece of medium weight white cardstock and I cut a piece that was five inches wide by three and three quarters inches tall. And then I cut a two inch strip and for now I just left it at whatever length this will be trimmed down later. Because the middle of the blue pattern paper will be covered up later by that larger piece of white cardstock, I brought in a set of rectangle nesting dies and I just cut a rectangle out of the center of this piece so that later I'll have just a little bit of it to use as an accent on the card. Once that was done, I brought in a dots embossing folder. I thought embossing the white cardstock would go well with the polka dot paper I'm using on the card. Once that was ran through, I put away my cuddle bug and I'm ready to do some stamping. I'm going to be stamping the sentiment on the 2 inch strip that I cut earlier and I will be stamping that in this light gray ink. The sentiment I chose for the card is thank you for being you. I will be stamping the sentiment toward the top of the 2 inch strip and later I will just cut the excess off the bottom of that. Once I have my stamp set up kind of centered left to right and at a good height on the piece of cardstock, I pick that up with the door of my stamp positioner, get it inked up, and stamp it once. Now because this is a new stamp, sometimes you need to ink it up a couple times, so this is what that stamp positioner is great for. I inked it up once more with the gray and then I had a nice crisp image. Next, I brought in the blue paper that I cut from the center of the larger piece and I cut a strip that was three quarters inches wide and then I brought in my fishtail punch and punched a fishtail on the end of that piece. I brought in my corner chomper and I used the quarter inch rounder side on the bottom of my polka dot pattern piece and on the left side of the floral. Most of the pieces were ready so I could start putting the card together now. I want to get this frame on the card front, but I have learned from in the past when I do this that it's easier to go ahead and put the adhesive on the card front itself and then carefully place that frame onto it and make sure it's in place before pressing it down nicely. I have found that if I try to add the adhesive to the frame that sometimes it tears or wrinkles that pattern paper. Next, I added adhesive to the embossed white piece and got that centered over the opening on that card front. Then I placed some adhesive on the back of the floral piece and that got aligned to the right center of the card. 
Once that was in place, it was time to start putting my focal point together. I kind of played with the pieces that were going to go on there, and I eyeballed some of the cutting on this. The white cardstock ended up being cut to three and three quarter inches tall, and then I trimmed that polka dot piece down so it was one and three quarters inches tall. Then I brought back in that corner rounder and rounded the bottom of the white cardstock piece. That way it will match up with the polka dot paper. Next, I played with the blue strip to find out how wide I wanted that. Once again, I kind of eyeballed that and trimmed it off. Then this got placed where the polka dot paper and the white cardstock meet to cover that opening up. Because the card is pretty flat so far, I wanted to add a little dimension by popping this piece up on the card front. I brought in my big blue roll of foam tape, added some strips of that to the back, and then got this placed onto the card front. And now to finish the card, I added three of the blue enamel dots that came with the kit. I placed these randomly on the front, covering up one of the polka dots on the pattern paper and two of the embossed dots on the white cardstock. And here's a close-up look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek at the upcoming Flavor of the Month card kit. If you did, as always, we appreciate a thumbs up. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.